Hello everyone and welcome back to the Warsword Conquest mod. We have spent a day or so resting in Oscraved, and the warband is eager to get back out on the move. But I am going to go around real fast and see if we can collect some more marauders for the band. Starting with this little town. Seven Chaos Tribesmen, let's do it. What the heck? Attacked by bandits? What the heck? Goblins? How dare you! I am a lord of chaos, you filth! <laughs> How dare they attack me? Let's try that again. Alright. I can have 86. Let's cross over here. Curious if we'll meet up with any more trolls. Alright, so I think our destination is going to be Ostrady. We must pillage more. Goblin Raiders. Hmm. All right, surrender or die. So it was suggested to me that I should have our lead belchers actually have hold fire until the enemy is closer. So I'm going to try that out. Here they come. Oh, jeez. Alright, that's probably close enough, right? Fire at will? Oh, you know what? Our infantry may be in the way now. Ah, they're firing some. <laughs> oh, I missed. They are short of stature. It is hard to hit them. Yes. What's that laugh, man? <laughs> I love it. Okay, we got some loot out of this. Not the best, but I'll take it. What's this? 45 Night Goblins. Night goblins. I think that's what attacked me in that village. Let's upgrade you guys to marauders. And yeah, it's 45 of them. We could probably get some nice loot from them. I don't think there's any kind of pact between chaos and goblins, right? I think they're both considered evil, but I don't think they're on the same side necessarily. Alright, so Chaos Belchers right there, Infantry Hold right here, my Mounted Warriors would be over there. Oh, what the heck? It's like a war Rider? Is that a squi uh, Squig Rider? It is! What the heck? They have Squig Riders? God, that thing is fast, little bastard. Ah! Cap charge. Come on, lead belchers. Ha 
<laughs> Squig riders. What the heck? Cannot run from Lord Vikesgud. These guys are the coolest. <laughs> ah! All right, seven killed. Who died? Human villagers, Pfft, whatever. Marauders, eh. Chaos tribesmen, eh. Master of Arms, a skeleton archer and a skeleton horse archer. I don't know how lore friendly it would be to have these in our band, but they seem cool, so I'll hire them just because of that. And we'll upgrade you guys. Marauder Horseman Champion. Yes. See, they have... Oh, that's not a bow. That's a, that's a sword. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Some more loot. Not very profitable loot, though. Fortunate. Okay, so we have 70 people in the band. Let's just go over here. We're pretty close. And you know what? If I plan on plundering, though, I'm gonna need some inventory space. I should actually just drop stuff. I get, we got four. drop it's hardly worth it all right din cough I did to be careful though because there is a castle nearby Since this is running at fast speed when we're looting, I have to be ready to run. Oh, but we looted it in time. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Date fruit. Let's replace this smelling stuff with fresh food. Oh wait, that's what I just <laughs> that's what I just deposited. Okay. And let's see, this is worth 198. I wanna keep the food because we need that. Well cheap butter. Okay. What the heck? I also got cattle? Oh, dude. Drive the cattle onward. Hello? Do they just follow us? Okay. Can I sell that cattle? I've never really done much with looting and burning and stealing of cattle because I've always kind of played a good guy and who cares about honor and all that stuff but Ooh, this dude has 28 people and I can have 16 more there's only a couple trolls oh dude and they're going the way that I need them to go anyway so fast ah let's I'm losing my cattle. There we go. So I wonder if the way to sell them is basically I have to slaughter them and then just sell the meat. I 
You know what? I wonder if those trolls can steal my cattle. How is here? If I get it just like near the city, can I sell you guys? Like, I don't know. No? Hmm. Okay. This guy still has 4,000 gold left. That's his 12,000. He doesn't even have that much. We're gonna have to go to another town. The exquisite velvet is twelve thousand. What? You know, I should have had this stuff towards the top. So they would eat it. This stuff goes bad so fast. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's take back... I wasn't paying attention to this money up here. Let's drop the tools and then just take that back. That's fine enough. And then let's go to the armor merchant. Ooh, nope. I'm seeing if anybody has a lot of gold, but it doesn't appear that anyone does. Okay. Shoot. So what I'll need to do is visit the tavern, of course, see if we can hire anybody. Marcus the Wise? Good day, wizard. It is unusual to see your kind in the taverns of the New World. Maybe he's a chaos sorcerer. It is indeed stranger, but I have never been one for following convention. Plus, if you are in the merchant trade, then taverns and markets are the best way. Okay. Is he a, he's a merchant? You see, there are certain kings and lords who often boast about the magical weapons and armor they possess. They believe they have a, mon a monopoly on them, and that there are no unknown warriors who possess such items. I, my friend, make liars out of them all. Are there actual magical items in this game? Oh. Is your population more ignorant to existence than the lords search high and low? And you sell them under their noses. The lords do not trouble themselves with tyrant folk. I'm quite safe here, and I'm careful who I sell to. Besides, I'm more than capable of taking care of myself if they do find out. And the truth is that I can make more money dealing with them as well. However, despite a few, I admire greatly. I'm fed up with dealing with most of the lawyers of this world. They are far too self-serving and distance themselves too much from their kin. I prefer to sell to the less famous but equally brave warriors and maybe help someone worthy rise to the top. I am worthy to rise to the top. The brave, the strong, someone who has shown they are worthy of these items. The last thing I want to do is sell them to a weak but bold warrior who then gets killed and the item ends up in the hands of someone I would rather see it not. I am a good judge of character and I can usually tell when someone will go on to do great things. Some of these items are old and powerful and shouldn't be traded idly. Such items would serve me well on my travels. I do not feel your skills are at, high, at the right level for you to own my items. You can come back to see me again later when you have learnt more. Or alternatively, you can bring me five tournament medals to prove your worth. Anyone who wins five tournaments can buy one of my items. Huh. Whoa. Beastman Unger. Oh, they're really cheap. They probably suck. But, cool. Beastman. Yeah. Welcome aboard. So, Marcus the Wise. So, apparently we need to win some tournaments and see him I guess all right so we're gonna leave and we need to go to another town which I think the other one is Mount Bonnier yeah because that exquisite vel uh, velvet 12,000 dude 12,000 like what what does anybody even have that much money This person does. And this pork's about to go bad. Darn it. 
We'll keep it there until it goes rotten, I suppose. And let's buy some grain, bread, cabbage. Okay. Ooh, a lizard man. These are dangerous times, aren't they, Traveler? Indeed. And you look like a dangerous warrior. I'm about as dangerous as they come. Like my race, I am on the path of destruction right now, and no one will stand in my way. Lustria is very attractive to the outside world. Many human, skaven, orc, and elf try and steal the relics of our ancestors and the sacred treasures of Sotek. Before it was small excursions, either private or state-funded, but now the humans are sending whole armies to our lands, and it poses the greatest threat to our existence. There will always be threats to any nation. What brings you to this tavern? Revered Old Blood took control of my unit to use as his bodyguards, and he didn't give me a new assignment. I have taken it upon myself to scope out the lands and learn more about the invading forces. Again, I don't know if there's any Chaos Lizards, but I kind of want a lizard dude rolling with me. You should join my company. We travel all the time and plan to go everywhere, raiding and pillaging. I will join you, but I must send some gold back to Lustria to help fund the defense forces. I will need, yeah, that here. Yeah. Awesome. A lizard warrior. And more of these guys. And Lord Albertus. What? what? What's up with all these people? A strange on it, wait, wait. A strange on it seems, you look like a Tomb King, but that is not a ne Nehekaran accent? That is because I am not a Nehekaran. I am an Imperial Lord, or should I say I used to be an Imperial Lord anyway. Oh, like Imperial, like Sigmar Imperial? I like to go exploring, treasure hunting, to further the glory and prestige of the Empire. I wanted to discover new lands and hopefully claim uninhabited land for us on a new continent. Sadly for me, I went south instead of southwest. I ended up in Nehekara, in the Tomb King Pyramid. I was excited with what I found, but I was foolish and didn't heed the signs to run. I ran into the lip. Lich priest who cursed me and turned me into one of them. Oh, wow. Sounds like you lost everything. I could use the skills of a lord in my army. It could be a new start for you. Lost everything I did. I was nearly killed when I returned to the Empire, and you can be sure I want nothing to do with the Tomb Kings. I am stuck, but you are offering me a way out. I was never strong in battle, but I am a great rider, and I am good with a lance. Put me in your cavalry, and I will put on a good show. Hmm. Again, for the sake of just... Like, story-wise, I don't know if I would be rolling with skeletons like this, but since this is my first time playing this mod, I, don't, I just kind of want to see all these cool new things, so... Sure, Lord Albertus. 4,000? Just for a... Cav? Dude, really? Hmm. Okay. Just because I want to see you in action, I, I suppose. What was this guy? That's a high elf. What the heck? Need some cavalry. What are your skills? Uh, you know, no, 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 no. A high elf? Come on. That's just going too far. <laughs> I draw the line somewhere, okay? Alright, so we've raided two villages. There is one more left over there. Again, I still have to be kind of wary of the Empire's forces. They probably outnumber me. Then over here we have the Bretonian coastline. Three towns, castle, and a city. I think it's a city. Hmm. Okay. You know, I do have that herd of cattle as long as it continues to follow me. I think it stopped. So I should. I guess I can just use it for food. Not everything needs to be sold. Oh yes, Lord Alpha, so I can move you up. 
It's cool that he comes with his own skeleton horse. Actually, move you down. No one is above the corn chaos knights except for me. Not even these guys. And then you. His weekly wage is nine. Saurus bone armor. That's pretty high armor. Temp. Oh, he's a temple guard. I know those guys are pretty elite, aren't they? Saurus poleaxe. Okay. No feet, no hands. So, for all these kind of fantasy races, I think all their armor has to be like these things. I don't even know if you could wear. Restricted for this race. It'll be returned to your inventory once. Okay. I was just kind of testing it. So, they can't even wear that. It's going to have to be Sora's specific armor. It's good to know. I can't just dress him up like a chaos guy. Well, I, I do have a lot of food, don't I? Of course, some of it is rotten now. All right, what's your skills? It's a level 10 character, Iron Flesh Power Strike, Athletics, Trainer, 15 Strength. Okay. Okay. And let's go to Inventory, drop this stuff. That's good enough. And we have another... Ooh. We have another fight on our hands. Choose who would join us already. Record battle size are set in options. What? Should be 300 still. So, ready troops. It should automatically take everybody, right? No, it doesn't. But now it does, because it doesn't ask me to, who to take. Weird. That shouldn't have even happened, but okay. Alright, um, Cat, who are you? Oh, you're infantry? Okay. Cav, let's go over here. Infantry set up. There. Hold your fire. Fire at will. Oh, oh, shoot. Fire at will. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That was an easy fight. I mean, it's not not much glory to be had on killing four trolls at this point. Still, I enjoyed them. More champions. More marauders. Veterans. Bray. Beastman Ungur. Which is... Okay, so these are the probably like the peasants, the militia. These are the next upgrade. Then they go into Beastman Axe Throwers or Beastman Gore. Which was a probably melee focus. Okay. Uh, let's see. Lord Albatus. You need to be set as Cav for right now. Okay. Looks good to me. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Next time, we are going to venture back down into the Empire's lands and see what more mischief and chaos we can cause. It looks like... Oh, that's still considered looted. So yeah, we're going to have to go after Ostrody and then kind of watch out for Empire, Empire troops. I'm not sure if we can fight them yet. They're probably, you know, in the hundreds in numbers. I don't know, maybe with our Chaos Lord Belchers, or Chaos Lord, our Chaos Ogre-led Belchers, we can turn the tide maybe. We'll see. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.